everybody. Today we're going to do a compare video. I have the Le Beiges, probably pronouncing that wrong, Pearly, Grow, <laughs> Pearly Glow Sheer Healthy Glow Highlighting Fluid. And then I have the LeBlanc Rosy Light Drops. So this is the new one. This is the Le Beiges. And this is the LeBlanc, which has been out for a while. I believe it's an exclusive on the Chanel site. Correct me if I'm wrong. It's entirely possible that I am wrong. I did not buy the Le Beiges, I think it's called Sunkissed, the bronzy looking highlighter. I, you know, my skin just doesn't tend to look good with that type of color, like the golden, which is what it looked like online. I might actually just dive in and buy it because I bought everything else from the Le Beiges collection. <laughs> And I will be doing a video dedicated just to that. But I thought some of you might be interested in seeing if you're pale like I am, and especially if you happen to be a redhead, uh, which one would look better. So this is the Rosy Light Drops and the Sheer Healthy Glow Highlighting Fluid. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this all over my face. This is the Rosy Light Drops. Uh, and then put the foundation on so you guys can see it. And then I'll do exactly the same thing with the new La Beige's highlighting fluid so you can see what the difference is. And I'll make sure I zoom in so you guys can see. So let's get started. Okay, so this is the Rosy Light Drops. On top, I have the La Beige's Eau de Tente Water Fresh Tint foundation, it just gives you a very nice glow to your skin. It really doesn't offer a lot of coverage. I didn't actually want to do something with a lot of coverage over these highlighting fluids because I wanted to just see the difference as much as you could. With a heavy foundation, you really wouldn't get to see a lot. So I'll go ahead and zoom in and you can take a look. Okay, so I don't have anything else on my face. I don't have any eyeliner on or eyebrows on or lipstick on, nothing. Just the LeBlanc Rosy Light Drops, La Beige's tint, that's it. Next one coming up, La Beige's Sheer Healthy Glow Highlighting Fluid. And here is the La Beiges. So off the top of my head, just this is first impressions using these for the first time. The, the La Beiges, I think the highlighting fluid, it does give me more of that glow almost like a, a little bit of a sun-kissed glow, even though it's not the brown, it's not the tan colors of the sun-kissed color, but it does kind of give that little bit of glow to my skin, which I really enjoy. The rosy light drops, though, I think looked great as well. I think it, it, it gave me sort of a little bit almost peach. I know it's rose, but it gave me sort of a peachy tint to my skin. I think they both look lovely. I used them all over. I didn't just use them on the highlights here. They both have a distinct scent. The LeBlanc Rosy Light Drops has that rose scent. The Le Beiges has the Le Beiges scent, so they are a little bit different. I think it looks really nice. It feels good on the skin. I don't mind the smell. I am sensitive to scents in general. I don't really like makeup with scents in it, but I do enjoy the Chanel scents. It might be because I worked for Chanel. I ran their counter for a while. And so I got, maybe I just got used to them. I don't know. Uh, maybe it just brings me back to my twenties. That could be it too, but I actually like the scent. So that doesn't bother me, but I think they're both beautiful. And you know, you, you be the judge in the comments below if you think there's a discernible difference, but I think they're both great. And now of course, now I want to buy the sun kissed one as well to see how that works. So thanks so much. It's a pretty quick video, but I wanted to give you guys a, um, a compare and I will tell you that next to the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter, I think this is a lighter, more subtle glow than that is. That one I think gives my skin a more 
noticeable shimmer. This I think is much more subtle, in my opinion, both of them, but I think it's beautiful. And I actually, I really like the way it makes my skin look. And I think a lot of us now are doing, if we're wearing makeup at all, you know, we're doing it a light look, a subtle look, or maybe you are doing a full, full makeup look, which is great, good for you if you're doing that as well. But if you're looking for something a little bit more day to day at home, good for, good for a Zoom video. I think these are, are great choices. It makes your skin look like your skin, but better. It's a beautiful finish and um, I love them both. So sorry guys, I wish I could, I wish I could say that one was far better than the other to save you money, but I think they're both beautiful. Sorry. Thanks again, guys. Like, subscribe. It helps build the channel as we're starting out here. And I really appreciate you being with me today. Thanks so much. See you in my next video.